Why is the third time a charm? Or third time lucky? And it's all over the world. Most of the time, three is perceived as something good, but not always. Like in baseball, three strikes you're out. Or in some cultures, you're not supposed to take a picture in a group of three. The number three is used in so many things, like expressions, tales, games, and superstition. Could these all have been influenced by religion, like the Christian's trinity, or other even more ancient religion? Or maybe it's the other way around, where the religions take from the expression or superstition. And why the expression to begin with? Or maybe they're all independent from one another. Bottom line, is there something special about number three? Well, let's take a look at this mysterious number by looking at the source of it. So we're gonna look at it from a mathematical and logical point of view. But first, let's see how world religions incorporated this number in their doctrines. The ancient Egyptians had thousands of gods and goddesses, and they would usually group them in triads, so in groups of three. The triads were usually composed of a family unit. The Sumerians of ancient Mesopotamia, today's Middle East, believed in three regions of the universe. They also had many deities, but their supreme triad would rule over those three regions. In Hinduism, a religion considered to be the most ancient living one, there's the Trimurti. It's a triad that consists of the very powerful deities, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, who would undertake the primary cosmic functions of creation, preservation, and destruction. In Taoism, the three pure ones are the highest gods in the pantheon. They were usually depicted in the three basic colors, blue, red, and yellow to represent creation. The first pure one represents the celestial or universal chi, or energy. The second one represents the human plane chi, and the third one represents the earth chi, inside the earth, that is. Buddhism, a religion that focuses on wisdom as opposed to God, they also group their philosophical elements in threes, like the three gems, the three roots, the three vajras, and the Trinity from Christianity, which says that God is one being who exists as three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's also the story of Jesus, the Son of God, which is full of number three, like the three wise men who give the newborn Jesus three gifts. Jesus' ministry lasted approximately three years. The devil attempts him three times. St. Peter denies him three times. St. Paul went blind for three days. Jesus died at the age of 33, and he resurrected after three days. Now this makes me ask myself, is this all real? I mean, there could be something real about number three, but could we also have been superstitious in the way we group elements and tell stories? Okay, I myself, I'm guilty of that. The way I place candles, I have to admit, it has to be in groups of three. When I express my excitement, I have to put my exclamation marks in threes. Remember that rule of not taking your picture in a group of three? It's actually a Southeast Asian superstition where if you do, the one in the middle will be leaving. I don't know the specifics of leaving, but they'll be leaving. <laughs> Well, I've always assumed leaving the country. Hey, I'm not the only superstitious one here. There's also Dante Alighieri, a very famous Italian poet from the early 1300s. And he also liked to group things in three. He did a trilogy on the different regions after death. So heaven, purgatory, and hell. Everything is in three, including his verses that are done in three lines. Superstitious or not, three does seem like a perfect number. Not just aesthetically, but practically as well. Most of us say on account of three. Two would be too short, four would be too long. And same goes for the number of tries that one should do. 
like in baseball, three strikes you're out. Three is practical and pleasant to the eye. So I see why we use it a lot. And maybe there's more to it, so let's look at it from a scientific point of view. The number three is the only number equal to the sum of the previous numbers. The number three is also the only number whose sum with those below is equal to the product of itself and those below. It's like a number that encompasses everything in its world. Fundamental elements are broken down into three. Life has three parts, birth, life, and death. A story has three parts. And something as basic as a line has three parts. The most basic polygon, which are shapes made of lines, is the triangle. And all other polygons are made of triangles. Triangle is like the source of all polygons. The triangle is said to be the most stable shape. It's also the only polygon that can have all of its points at equal distance to one another. In other words, three points can be arranged graphically so that they're all in equal distance to one another. That cannot happen with any other number of points. Pi rounded off is three. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter and its constant for all circles. Until relatively recently, we knew the world as having three dimensions. Three was recognized for its perfection, but also for its usefulness. All colors are derived from the three base colors, blue, red, and yellow. Three composes the basic family unit, father, mother, and child. The number three is the smallest number to break a tie or consensus. It's as if it takes three to go forward. So we looked at some of the facts on the number three, but it's hard to tell if trinities and triads of the past were consciously formed from these facts. Or maybe they just came about naturally. Because in many ways, number three just seems right. Number three is regarded as perfection, mathematically, visually, and practically. And that could easily be the reason why the number three is prominent in world religions, tales, expressions, and games. Still, all we can do is speculate. But one thing's for sure, from the most ancient religions to the most modern practices, humanity has continued to find power in the number three. All right, let's give this another shot, because third time's a charm.